Part 10, The Specific Anarchist Organization, Production and Reproduction of Theory. Another important activity of the Specific Anarchist Organization is the production and reproduction of theory. We understand theory as, start quote, a set of concepts coherently articulated between themselves, an instrument, a tool that serves to do a job, that serves to produce the knowledge that we need to produce." End quote. Theory is fundamental both for the conception of strategy as well as for the propaganda that the organization performs. Strategy seeks to increase the efficiency of work of the anarchist organization, while propaganda is very important in the sense of promoting anarchist ideas. Thus, we understand this set of coherently articulated concepts, theory, as an indispensable tool for practice in order to perform a specific job. Therefore, start quote, if it does not serve us to produce new knowledge useful for political practice, theory is useless, end quote. On being produced within the specific anarchist organization, Theory formalizes concepts in order to make the organization, one, understand the reality in which it is acting, two, deal with making a prognosis of the objectives of the process of social transformation, and three, define the actions that will be taken in order to put this process into practice. We call this scheme strategy and we'll discuss it below in more detail. In seeking to understand the reality in which one operates, theory arranges information and data, formalizes the understanding of the historical moment in which we operate and the definition of the social, political, and economic characteristics. That is, it performs a complete di diagnosis of the reality in which the specific anarchist organization operates. In this case, it is important, beyond general reading, to think regionally where one acts, as if this is not done, you run the risk of applying methodology that is incorrect for the process of social transformation. The importing of ready-made theories from other times and other contexts. However, for us, theory does not end there. It is through it that the anarchist organization makes a prognosis of the objectives that the social transformation intends to imprint on the capitalist system. The conception of libertarian socialism and revolutionary process of transformation can only be thought of today from a theoretical perspective, since in practice we are not living in a revolutionary time. Thus, theory organizes the concepts that define the transformation to the future society as well as that society itself which are the final objectives of the specific anarchist organization. Theory also defines how the anarchist organization should act within the reality in which it finds itself in order to reach its final objectives. In this way, all the reflection that we do today about the complete process of social transformation that we intend to imprint on society is a theoretical reflection since despite being put into practice, it does not happen completely, but partially, with the development of the steps concerning the beginning of the process. Other steps are reserved for the future and today can also only be thought of in a theoretical way. Theory is also very important in the process of propaganda, since to promote anarchist ideas, it is necessary to articulate concepts coherently. Besides propaganda taking place more broadly, in practice, theory also has a very relevant role therein. When theory is used for propaganda, it formalizes the past with the study and reproduction of anarchist theories, which have as an objective to deepen the ideological level and make anarchist ideology more known. It can also take place in relation to the present and the future with the theoretical spread of materials that explain our critiques of the present society, our conception of the future society, and of the process of social transformation. It is also important that the production of theory aims to update obsolete ideological aspects or seeks to adapt ideology to specific and particular realities. 
This whole process of theoretical propaganda is fundamental to gather people around our cause. The more theory is produced and distributed, the easier will be the penetration of anarchism through society. We understand that theory is fundamental to practice. When we work with correct and well-articulated concepts, the practice is much more efficient. Start quote. If there is no clear and concrete theoretical line, there is no effective political practice, end line. And the political will of the organization runs a serious risk of being diluted. Besides this, we do not believe that in order to act the anarchist organization needs, before anything else, to have a deep and developed theory. In fact, there are organizations that believe that the big problem of anarchism is in the resolution, almost mathematically, of anarchist theory. For us, although we defend with emphasis that theory is very important for an efficient practice, we do not believe that theory produced without concrete and prolonged contact with practice can bear any promising fruit. The theory promoted by intellectuals removed from struggle or with little social work Intellectuals who think they have understood theory more than anyone else and have found definitive answers to the theoretical questions is of little use since it is in practice that we verify whether the theory serves for anything. Practice that necessarily contributes to the theory. We do not believe, like many of these intellectuals, that just with theory we will necessarily have an efficient practice. If this theory was not constructed with ample and permanent contact with practice, the chance of having little use is enormous. When we started the introduction to this text with the subheading, To theorize efficiently, it is essential to act, we were referring exactly to the idea that for coherent and efficient theoretical production, there is no other way than to produce it. Two, from practical experiences. In this case, it is not always theory that determines practice. We believe that theory and practice are complementary and that from theory you practice and from practice you theorize. If we can theorize today about our ide ideology, it is because we are putting it to the test in our daily practice and verifying what works, what doesn't work, what is current, and what needs to be updated. We know that often in practice, the theory is other, and this applies above all to, an arch to anarchism. Not everything that was produced or is produced theoretically within anarchism serves the practice we want. This also applies to aspects that are less ideological, such as analysis of the conjuncture, evaluation of the political forces at play, that can even be interesting theories, but if they do not find coherence in practice, will not serve us for anything. The important value that we attach to practice gives absolute importance to the process of social work and insertion. It puts anarchist ideology to the test, allowing the anarchist organization to better think of its possibilities and horizons, to be much more programmatic, to act with its feet on the ground, and to get on with life as it is, and not how we would like it to be. For this reason, social work and insertion enables one to perform with better precision all the theoretical production of the anarchist organization. From this relation of theory and practice, we understand the theoretical way of the specific anarchist organization as a constant way to theorize, practice, evaluate the theory, and if necessary, reformulate it, theorize, practice, and so on. Many anarchist organizations define theory only as comprehension of the reality in which they are acting. In this way, they separate theory from ideology, the first being this set of concepts coherently articulated between themselves that would serve only for the elaboration of answers to what we call the first question of strategy, that is, where we are. In this sense, theory would come down to seek a deeper understanding of the reality in which you operate. On this, we agree. However, we believe, as we have specified above, that theory also serves to answer the second and third questions of strategy, that is, where we want to reach. And how do we think we can leave where we are and arrive at where we want to be? Thus, in this strategic framework, theory is not limited to the first question, but also seeks to answer the second and third questions. 
Moreover, this theory implicated in strategy necessarily has ideological elements, and therefore in this case theory and ideology, despite being distinct concepts, cannot be clearly separated. Theory necessarily carries ideological aspects, and ideology necessarily carries theoretical aspects. There is, therefore, a direct link between one another. From this understanding of the relation between theory and ideology, we think that the specific anarchist organization must work with what we call ideological and theoretical unity. This unity occurs through the decision-making process of the anarchist organization and has an objective to determine a clear political line, theoretical and ideological, that must necessarily guide all the activities and actions of the organization which start quote both as a whole as well as in the details should be in exact and constant agreement end quote with the line defined by the organization we do not believe that it would be possible to work with multiple theoretical and ideological conceptions without this signifying permanent conflicts and inefficient practices the absence of this theoretical and ideological political line leads to a lack of articulation or even to conflicting articulation in the set of concepts the result of which is incorrect, confusing, and or inefficient practice. With this well-defined political line, everyone knows how to act, and in case of having practical problems, it is well known that the line should be revised. When the theoretical and ideological line is not well-defined and there is a problem, there are difficulties in knowing what needs to be revised. It is therefore the clarity of this line that allows the organization to develop theoretically.